want a drink. Don't you want a drink? <laughs> it's 11.45 in the a.m. <sighs> you know. I think we're okay. Fine. I think Boy. you have a problem. Hello. This is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Death ahoy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. Woo. Go online. Mm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Beyonce. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. They French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> it's 90 Day Gate. Let's love. The world is, <laughs> world's turned on its heel of Poodle's telling me not to drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. The moon's turned to blood. Yeah, I have the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is happily ever after. Happily ever never. Happily ever. When is this ending? When does this show end? It's, y'all, okay. <clears throat> Not that I don't like it, y'all. The episodes are too long. They're too long. But before, before we get on soapboxes, welcome to 90 Day Gays. This is where <laughs> I'm Matt, a.k.a. Maddie. And I'm Poodle, a.k.a. Jake. And we're, t- we're kind of doing that because we've got a lot of new people, I think, because of Love After Lockup. You know what? Do your research. <laughs> don't come. Don't come. Don't just expect us to do everything for you. Do your research. If you're new, we're not going to tell you who we are every time. I mean, honestly. But, you know, I agree with that. Do, do, do the work. It's true. Do the work. This is Happily Ever After season... Happily Ever Never. Ever Never. uh, Season 5, episode episode 6. Called Ultimatums and Ugly Truths. Boy. And as you were saying, (laughs) these episodes are long. The ugly truth is that these episodes are way... They're two hours, but you guys, the segments themselves are very long. We feel like they should have separated the show into one hour and oh, just done it 22, God. Se- 22 episodes. God, it's so... one. I'm exhausted after watching two hours of this. Because I do like the plots and some of the characters I'm invested in and interested, but it's just such yeah. like... I'm like, okay. Oh, and we wait, didn't even see Paul this? and Carini this episode. No, we didn't see Paul and Carini and we didn't see... Who um, else? Um, uh, um, oh. Riveting. You know, it was in my head because I was like, oh, we're not seeing them this episode. And there was only a little bit of Asuelu, no Kalani at all, just Papa Kalani. Just blow, Uh, Papa low. Well, I'm going to tell you, boy, boy, I'm going to take you out on this bridge. (laughs) Y'all, when Papa Low said he wants to take you to a country, (laughs) a park, park. that means you're going to get killed. And buried. That was don't, dumb. Don't, don't go do that. Don't go without leaving a note. No. <clears throat> or at least like take a friend. Or put your uh, life track app on yeah. your phone. Mm-hmm. On let uh, somebody kn- let a hoe know. <clears throat> I need to talk to you. Uh. <laughs> who who are we Boy. missing? There is somebody who normally is on Happily Ever After. We didn't have um, Paul and Carini, and then maybe I I'm confusing know. it with the other way. I, Fuck it. I don't care. Um. He doesn't. <laughs> Y'all, we're also overstimulated before we jump into this. Oh, the Stacy and Darcy trailer is out, y'all. Or Darcy and Stacy. Whatever. I bet they fought over that no, name. I bet they did. <laughs> is it, it's Darcy and Stacy. It's Darcy and Stacy. I mean, Darcy's 90 day. Um, I could not be more excited for this show. <laughs> I could not be more excited. Y'all, it's everything you want. It's them with bad extensions. Yes. Lots of fake crying. Tits lots out. Lots of House of Eleven wear where uh-huh. they can't breathe in the clothes. Their drunk friend Caroline or whatever her name <laughs> Raina. is. Raina. Raina. <laughs> Always drunk Raina. I need to know <laughs> that you're going to take care of her. You told me. She was the one who had the emo- emojis. Yeah. The, yes, the tell all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God bless Raina. Okay, Raina. Raina came through. Um, she might be the breakout <clears throat> star of this show. Uh, so, 
there's you guys. We also there's Florian. He's <laughs> making an appearance. <laughs> but apparently Florian's he been looks, bad. He looks tired. This is going to be a split. I have roving eye. What is going to happen when Stacy is normally the one, and now Stacy's the one having man problems? I know. And Darcy's got a new man, and he is hot. He's Bulgarian. I mean... I think I may have to also do his accent. Um, so. And y'all, I'm telling you now, <laughs> it's sizable. It is. It's quite big. It's quite big. It's uncut and probably looks a little scary, like a big dumpling. Uh. Um, <laughs> especially when it's soft, it's just kind of laying just there. Laying there, you're like, is that a is that a hairless mole? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what's on Debbie's face. Sometimes, sometimes uncut dicks look a little suspect when they're soft. It's kind of like, what is that? What is that? But as soon as it's hard, it's like, oh, there it is. There Hello, it is. old friend. Okay, I recommend I recognize Good to you. see you again. <laughs> Get in my ass and take it to task. That's what, what we call making fucky. <laughs> Y'all, that was the original song. Instead of making whoopee, it was... Making fucky. And Get then in it my got ass sense. and take it to task. <laughs> mm-hmm. Near rhyme. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Still made you laugh. Near rhyme and a perfect rhyme. <laughs> Cole Porter would have gone <laughs> amateur. <laughs> would you like to make out while my wife is asleep? <laughs> That's what Cole-, <laughs> Cole Porter was a big Mary. <laughs> Maybe we could do some lessons, lessons while my wife is away. She loves horseback riding, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker was married. I wish we all still kind of talk like that in that yeah, affected mid- mid-Atlantic. mid-Atlantic. It's actually, I'm not going to go off on, on a tangent, but mid-Atlantic like? is more of a made up. It's a made uh, up, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also, it was kind of done to show that people were of a certain class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But at the same time, it was done to keep projection uh, almost like in a British sense of because the microphones weren't yeah. as good on yeah. movie sets. Does so anybody, you learn something new every day, you guys. Does anybody still talk like that? I don't really think so. Um, you sometimes hear it in extreme New England places. Really? Um, where it's a little bit more up here. Yeah, like Maine. Um, <clears throat> but Mid-Atlantic is basically... Uh, is basically a made-up language at the time. No one was... People would speak on radio that way. Yes. But when you... That was almost like... It was the it was the accent everyone used for um, kind of... Uh, I would call it presentational speech. Yes. You know. Yes, but no one really spoke that way. Fix your mic condom on your mic. Oh, it's Coming a skew. Um, okay, let's jump in. We have one Again, more... Again, I barely know how to use condoms, so yeah. there you yeah, go. There you go. Um, what do I do? this what do i do, do I put it this? on my finger that's what we call our pop filter my <laughs> condom one more thing and then we're gonna jump in <clears throat> <Fix your condom. laughs> um like what shout out to the ladies ashley and linda at 90 melanated day, way my 90 day the melanated way they are jump if you're uh, their following first them, podcast tonight y'all yes tonight they're, they're popping their cherry i think it's she said 8 p.m pacific time but just follow them. The way they're doing it, it's on their Patreon. Remember when but it's we, free. Remember when we did Crowdcast and it was a shit show? <laughs> they're going to do it right. So it's all through <clears throat> Patreon. It's free. You can watch them. I think the paid content is their news and gossip that you pay yeah, the $5 tier for. But they're covering both shows for free, and you can watch. They're doing it on video. Yeah. So if you want more video content. Um, Don't um, look at us. <laughs> That we, shit is a lot of work. We would work. have to be camera ready the whole time. And you know this bitch. Oh. I need full face. My Botox hasn't settled yet. I'm not ready to be <laughs> be on camera yet. That's why your eyes drooping. That's true. No, they're lifted. <laughs> I, yes, I'm going to look like... I did the look at You're Larissa. You're looking a little, little, little like Larissa. I was. I had to get it all... <laughs> anyway, so check them out. Their, their Instagram is 90 Day the Melanated Way as well. You can follow them there. We will post that in the they're, show they're notes. They're very prolific with their posting. It's great. They're great. Uh, Check it out, guys. Uh, she sent me a meme video I sent you of Sinjin pushing Tania oh, so in funny. a wheelchair. <laughs> Did the music? He just like threw her. <laughs> ah, it was so good. Oh, uh, anyway, yeah, we had most of this episode. You guys, oh, we also talk about some melanated way. We want to talk about. We got to push, um, <clears throat> not push because we don't have to. 
<laughs> we, Speaking you of push, push um, what y'all, are we pushing? We just dropped Love After Lockup oh, yeah. yesterday. We did. Last night. Mm-hmm. And some of you guys have, have been already enjoying it on our Patreon. Yes. Uh, but it's free. The first two episodes are free. Try before you buy. Um, and uh, I was buy before I was try. <laughs> <laughs> And now I've, I've pretty much tried everything now. There's nothing left. Nothing left. Uh-huh. <clears throat> nothing left. Maybe He's maybe maybe some with, skunking or... Yeah. <laughs> he got freaky with that tiger and he went, you know, that's enough. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just going to stick to gay. I've flown too close to the, to the sun to the on sun. wings of wax. Um, Ooh, but... It's going to be a good season of Love After Lockup. I was yeah. talking, emailing with Kim from Cray Cray about it's, it. It's um, going to be a hot... They're excited too. I'm... I'm pretty appalled, uh, but that's general. And I would say my my kind of my kind of shock is somewhere between not normal ninety day and watching Paul and Karini be nuts and smothered. It's around there. Smothered is fully like at, a, at an eleven. Oh, well, I of me even, being we haven't shocked. even watched this week's episode yet. I haven't either. Yeah, we have um, so much to do. But it's again, it's not a shock. It's like a cringe factor. Yeah. And it's not even a good cringe factor. It's like when I watch Lori and Sarah, I just sit there and cling onto the couch. I mean, when the guy put an eagle in his freezer along with his <laughs> vegetables and meat, an I think eagle's it's eagle wing. wings. Yeah. I don't know why that's better. And he will raise you <laughs> no, up. No, that's on a terrible eagle's hymn. Wings. That's a terrible hymn. Oh, I love that song. It's, a, it's, only, it's the only Share good singing you Catholic on hymn. The breath of God. Uh. And hold your blood. And the, hold you. You don't know in how many times I've sung that at funerals. Oh my God. Uh, that's when they they actually sang that um, at the memorial service for the Oklahoma City bombing. And I cried. Way to shame me. <laughs> I was shocked they didn't sing like something Baptist because it's Oklahoma, but no, they sing Interesting. Yeah, that's I a know. very Catholic hymn, you guys. It's very pretty. Um, we have like five that are good, and the rest are shit. <laughs> But we only have like five. Thanks, Vatican II. Yeah. That's a that's a niche reference to <laughs> We better get into it because people are gonna say too long, get to the show. Carl, they're talking about the second Vatican conference. I don't I don't <laughs> Why do I listen to this? <laughs> Carl, I'm skipping dialysis today. <laughs> this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> Carl Swipe, you go to your dialysis. Go to your wife. Go to your dialysis. It is Carl. fine. All right. He, Shout out. Carl needs this time. Just he needs some alone time. He does. Speaking of medical, shout out He's to Claire. He's going on a three hour masturbatory session. Shout out to Claire. Claire, if you're listening in the hospital, we love you. Keep going, Queen. Uh, All right. Let's uh, jump into anyway, Colty. Let's get into Colty and Debbie and Jess. And Jess. Uh, so <laughs> they, Jess and Colt, go to dinner, mm-hmm. and Colt trying to speak Portuguese. He just doesn't do bad. He, he makes it. It's he, I guess it's better than um better than Paul speaking Portuguese. <laughs> true. You know, you gotta give it to Libby. She really kind of does you the know, best. She's the best. Yeah. And I will say, she she kind of underplays how much she speaks, but her yeah. accent is not bad. Not that I really know. I think they're speaking Romanian. I don't think it's Moldovan. I think they're speaking Romanian. Someone Would, come at us who knows this. I, bet it's not I don't a know a lot easy of Romanian language to learn. Um, what it's are they similar. Speaking? It's similar to uh, most m- kind of textbook Russian. They're very similar. All those Slavic not languages. Not easy languages, though. They are not. Slavic languages. They are not. Anyway, yeah. um, so, okay. So, Colt <clears throat> did get a separate hotel room for all the sex. Oh, thank God. Um, and so, this kind of this first conversation is with Colt and Jess the next morning. Because he did say, I got a second hotel room for a uh, little privacy and a little fun. And then I threw up in my mouth. And Jess is like, I like sex. You like sex. <laughs> we sex, 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 sex. Um, sex, 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 sex. Uh, <laughs> then, yeah, then she, then she does this kind of pantomime. And it's this like Commedia dell'arte of their night with, if they had been there with Debbie. So she's like, she's like, oh, oh, oh. And then, then Debbie be like, Debbie be like, 
Ooh. And she's like, no, you knew. You know, Colt. Yeah, it was a very no strange Mama moment. Six. Anyway, <coughs> um, so basically, I kind of, I want to talk about the fact that she's kind of, um, we're starting to see a little crazy from her, and I'm ready for it. Oh, she's gonna I, be, she's gonna be going batshit by the end. I have a feeling. I think so too, and I think the difference of Jess and Larissa, which. First of all, there's a lot of differences. And just because they're both from Brazil doesn't mean we're lumping them together. But as, I mean more as like cult dating dating women that are a little crazy. Yeah. Which we haven't seen Larissa's season. But from what we've seen so far oh. in the clips we've seen, yes, sometimes Larissa, Larissa does lose control. But for the most part, she's trying to stay one step ahead of her emotions. and, and Yeah, she's just trying game. to. Jess is not going to do that. Jess, I don't think, no. has that emotional intelligence. Not that she's dumb. I just think she's she has this kind she's of naivete. Not a, she's right? not as good of a game player as Larissa yeah, is. Yeah, it's yep. like she's going to be way more reactive to this. She's not going to get across the marriage finish line. I'm oh, saying it now, y'all. Because if not for if not Mama Debbie, uh, she's cult, she's going to ruin it for Colt I herself. I think Larissa was right, and I think I mean we're seeing y'all. She's a wolf, Debbie. <laughs> Is horrible. I will say she's kind of and, and yes, horrible. She's a master though. She's a master. So we'll, I think she gets her power from that mole, <laughs> which I'd never really noticed until they did this side angle. Oh yeah, that's when that's when I noticed it. Boy, it, it kind of uh, the problem is it's flesh colored, so it doesn't stand out oh. like a lot of brown moles. But if you get a profile of it, you're oh, like, oh yeah, Whoa. it's like she looks like one of those. Uh, one of those contour maps that we had in in, in school. <laughs> yeah. You're like you you're like run your hand over, over and like touch the mountain. You're I like, love Ooh. that. They probably don't Ooh. make those now because of COVID. Topographical maps. That's what they're called. That's what they're called. Yeah. Aren't I they like contour map? Contour maps, like a drag queen contours. <laughs> exactly. That's what, <laughs> that's our that's our frame of reference. That's our frame of reference. <clears throat> um, so basically, Colt is trying to state. Jess says basically, your mom acted horribly. Colt saying. The thing that's kind of where we see, she calls him "you baby man," you baby man, <laughs> you baby, which is, uh, which is obviously true. It is, but this is kind of where we see, I think, a little bit of what y'all have been telling us, but we hadn't really seen yet. Kind of the insidiousness of Colt, because he immediately she says "you baby man," and he says that's not fair, and he brings up, "we both have lost parents. Why wouldn't I do everything for my mother?" Yeah, like. Question, maybe I makes, missed it. He shames her. He shames her. Yeah. Did he ever apologize for his mother's behavior? Because I missed it. Mm, no, and I I don't think he should. It, it should be Debbie. He 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 but, makes excuses for her. But he wouldn't said, you apologize said, for your said, mother? Yes, you would. But he said, he said, um, she was tired. She wasn't angry at you. She was just angry at the circumstances. Um, and you guys, that's a... That's just he just mansplained that to her. Yeah, this was kind of like, oh, you're being ridiculous. Like he, yeah, like yeah, you're being gross. Stupid. You're overreacting. Basically, is what he said, but he yeah. didn't say. She's like, she was tired. She was a little sick, and she made he made Jess gaslight her a little bit and made Jess feel like it, she was overreacting. And then said, I would do anything for the parent I still have, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, since she, your mother died, <clears throat> it's pretty awful. That's gross. So you guys, gross. Um, uh. He says even the last thing. Maybe she's not the best person, but she's my person. <laughs> that was fair. So how can you argue with that, you guys? Yeah. So that's like an argument ender. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And then Jess says, okay, tomorrow will be a new day. I just need Which is the only thing you can say after that. Go with my family. My family will be crazy. We get Debbie. We get Debbie drunk. We need to get Debbie drunk. We, we, get, we Debbie drunk her. I'm telling you now, that's not a good idea. <laughs> She's just going to become even more abusive, y'all. That is not a good idea. <laughs> the idea that when people that people are more pliable when they are drunk. Oh, no. 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 You're going to get when you're going to get, get the worst side. When you get drunk poodle, <laughs> y'all, that's when we have to end the show early cuz he just starts yelling at me. Like when people comment things like Jake is mean to Maddie, it's when we've had <laughs> drunk Jake episodes. <laughs> I <laughs> The funniest thing about it is I understand in a normal uh, setting where it might sound like I'm being mean to you, but that's just 
our conversation. Sometimes I will take an edge. <laughs> when you're drunk, you'll get an edge. Yeah. From, for me, it's like lube off a of bottom's back. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Just rolls off me. Yep. I agree. Um, that way, I was meant to say like water off a of duck's back. I just made it gay. <clears throat> yep. But you, you make up by, by talking about my sex life constantly. Yeah, I <laughs> and ne- calling me a whore. Oh, I never. You never bring that up. <laughs> you t- you bring it up more than I do. Are I you think. sex sensitive? I won't talk about your sex life. No, anymore I'm not. I'm actually want. not. I think it's sex positive, y'all. We, by the way, in our Facebook group, the Sissy Squad, we just had another sissy say, put a post and said, you know, I have <laughs> dated an asshole and I was really inhibited about sex, and this podcast of this group has freed up That's my wonderful. freaky deaky side. That makes me so happy. Just don't get arrested, Gunny. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> don't don't do anything in public and because they can yeah. arrest you for that. It's um, that, but in your own bedroom, it's, as long as you're not hurting anybody, honey. Public sex, I know more about Consent. the ramifications of that than Poodle yeah. because Poodle doesn't get caught. <clears throat> yeah. Well, hello, officer. Just remember, you got. Just remember, sissy. Consent is important, and to not do things in public where you can get caught. And don't ask. And obscenity the, laws are important. And don't <laughs> ask the officer if he wants to join. <clears throat> that doesn't work. Oh, good to know. Well, learn that the hard way. Anyway, anyway, uh, y'all. So. Uh, they uh, they have a new room and sex all night. Sex all night. Uh, and I just noticed. I guess I, she had never. We had never seen it. She has two huge thigh tattoos. She does. You know what? I lied. I said this is the morning after. This was the night. Uh, they just dropped his mom off. She's sleeping. He got a hotel room. They went yeah. to have a beer. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I said that wrong. <laughs> but yes, she has two huge. I don't. They're not. It's not the best place. I don't like these places for these kind of. It makes her look like her legs are bigger than they are. Like if you're gonna get thigh tattoos, like do it like just do like your whole leg. Yeah, elongate or something. them. Yeah, instead of lengthen the leg. They look round. It makes her look like she has like. It's kind of like a Swelu. He has those like yeah. Samoan tattoos just on his thighs. Yeah, and I'm like it makes you look shorter than you are. That's true. Yeah. Y'all come at us if you just if thinking about it, getting a tattoo. We'll tell you what to get and what not to get. Yeah, because we thigh we, tattoos, and she has sh- normally short legs. It makes her look even smaller. That's a good idea to have two gay men make choices about <laughs> your body. <laughs> what else am I put on this world to do? <laughs> I'm a cultural critic. It's true. I'll tell you what to do. You can totally ignore me. <laughs> Someone said that when we're 60, that Poodle and I are just going to be those two grumpy Muppets. Uh, that's, that's fair. fair. That's, that's fair. fair. So anyway, the next day, Debbie is out on the balcony, um, and she, of course, Colt's like, what's that? And she, of course, picks up her fork and feeds him. I'm surprised she didn't chew it up and masticate it and spit it in his mouth. I'm very close to my mother. Well, closest to my mother. That would not happen. I know. It was gross. Yeah, but she had been eating with that fork. Well, I don't mind that as much. It's your parent. You don't want to have... I won't share a fork with my parents. I haven't. I don't think I have in a long time. I just don't want to. I don't want to either. I think I would I would be more... I would more take it off of her plate. Mm. Yeah. First Although I don't like people doing that to me. When <laughs> I just want to bite their hands off. <laughs> when people take food off your Ooh, plate. Oh, I don't like it. But you do that to me all the time. I know. <laughs> you say, give me a bite of that. And you stick your fork in my plate. Um, <laughs> I but, just read you. But my mouth is cleaner than yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At least for the last four months. <laughs> <clears throat> that cam mic, though, is I disgusting. Still, I, still don't, I still don't like people, like, grabbing. Like, there's something that feels like I'm like, <sighs> About my about my plate. You're like my old boxer, Lucy, my first uh-huh. dog. She was real sweet unless she tried to touch her food while she was eating. She bought you. I've only heard about Lucy 11 times. You know what? <laughs> she died when I was on vacation, and I never got to say goodbye. <laughs> so it's a painful memory. <laughs> so Okay. To visit my Aunt Karen. How old were you? In Hayes, Kansas. I was eight. Did they not tell you? Yeah, they told me while I was on vacation. Wow! I just sat on a hill by myself and cried. They ruined that for you. Would you have waited? Wanted to wait for them to get home? What happened? Why didn't she die? Uh, well, she had heartworms and it's just her heart gave out. My grandpa had to bury her. 
okay, this is sad. She buried her in the back. Were did you grow up with her? Yeah, she was like she was. They got her when I was like one year old. Well, she didn't live very long. Boxers about eight. Yeah, they're really not, they're bigger dogs. Wow. Boy, hey, that's Siri, a, that's what's a the southern fan of a boxer. It's a southern story. It is. Siri's not working. <clears throat> anyway, let's move on from your dog. So they're out talking. And <laughs> speaking of animals, first thing Debbie wants to talk about: How are the cats? How are the kitties are doing? How are the kitties doing? Uh, and she's like, I'm sure they're fine. Are the kitties doing good? Uh, anyway, so Colt's like, let's talk <clears throat> about your behavior, and. He does say, though, I'm thankful we had another room uh, because Jess is pretty loud. See, oh, that's what is this? Disgusting. What is that? You should never tell your mother anything about, like, especially when your mother barely knows your new girlfriend. They have a very codependent and non boundary relationship. But they also dig, they almost not dig. But it's this. Um, he he digs to see how she's going to respond. It's almost like they're competing against one another for like something. How in fucked the, up the other how is? How fucked up the other one is, or who has control of the relationship? Uh, I think his his um, his role in her life has always been able to push her and see how she's going to respond to things. But yet, and she she's wants to like, be in charge. Yep. But she's not. But. Y'all, best case, stay away from these two. Yep. Anyway, um, they're they're terrible. So basically, <sighs> Colt is like, but basically, Colt is like, do you realize kind of that you were being an asshole right. last night? And Debbie is like, no. She was like, I was tired. So what? Yeah. I was tired. He said, I understand you're tired, but you don't have to be an asshole. Um, and then he says, what do you think of Jess? And she's like, well, I was with her for 10 minutes. She said, I was with her for 10 minutes, so how would I know? But it seems like she's got a plan. Seems like she's got a plan. And uh, that's what I think she's, uh, she's got a plan. Be manipulative. Cut to, <clears throat> she, but she wouldn't expect, Jess wouldn't know. She says earlier, though, when she was acting like an asshole, she was like, it wasn't about her. She was with me for so 10 minutes. Right. How would she know? But yet I, you know she's a manipulative, planning yeah, bitch. Yeah, and, no, and talk about, I'll tell you who's got a plan is Debbie. So Boy. anyway, he basically says, <clears throat> I want you to go. Want to go take a walk with her, go meet her. Sure. And, sure, sure. I'm going to go meet her. Talk to that. Uh, so anyway, Debbie goes and she does meet Jess. She does meet Jess. And apologizes and says, it wasn't you. I was, I was, you know, tired and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And, uh. You know what? I feel like this calls (laughs) for our first. Okay. Of this today. Uh, y'all, little segment we like to call 90 90 Days Days Theater. Theater. I assume I'll be playing Jess. No, you'll be playing. Oh. <laughs> you'll be playing Debbie? Deb. If I play Debbie, I just go in your pool, and I know, gritty. I know. And I'm it's a, pool I'm afraid gritty. Of, you're talking about pool and, and gritty. It's fuck on the beach because I like to make good pun in no, the beach because no I'm a pool and gritty. <laughs> gritty, yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. Yo, that's a callback to porn granny. Paul, 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 porn granny, you are not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> this is past, not in your season. So, um, all right, be I will. Role of Debbie, I'll be playing the role of Jess. Yeah, like this. <laughs> all right, and on a beach in chairs, no one's wearing beach apparel. And no, it's very strange. It's very weird. And sing. Well, hello, dear. May I join you? Yes, yes, yes. Please. Uh, sit. I uh uh I want you to know that uh um uh, I wasn't mad at you. I was just upset because I was very tired. Okay, I just, uh, um, it was, we meet 10 minutes, and then I just, I was in a good mood because I was going to Shut up. ride your son's dick, ah, and then you're angry, I don't know. Yeah, I hate you, bitch. Oh, I mean, I mean, no, say? it's fine. What'd uh, you say? Uh, 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 anyway, I, I want to talk to you that, well, thank I'm you for sorry, the apology. but, uh, I just want you to say that Colch never talked about kids before you, so. Colch, they talk to me about kids all the time. 
Because we're going to have all the fucking. Fucking gonna, liar. What? What'd you say? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. I was just clearing my throat. Oh, okay. <laughs> liar. Okay. Um, uh, uh, anyway, I need. Tell me one. Tell me once again. Uh, uh, hold on. Can you bring over a hot light, please? What? Oh, what? Bartender. What? Why is that Thank light you. so bright Thank in my you. face? Well, Thank I can't you. Mm, sit at this table. I can't sit, sit down what? in that chair with one rickety leg. What? What? Why is it the middle? Just table? shut up and answer my okay. questions. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. Tell me, did you do you really think you're uh uh what are you you gonna stay in this stay in America? Uh, or your yes. visa's about to run out, right? Uh, yes. It's yeah, about tell to me run about out. it. I mean, why is that? Big, you want to get married, my son? Why is that big muscly man pacing behind me? Um, He's yes, just a friend. Yes, I want to get married to your son, but I stay in Brazil or I go to America. You know, we just we gonna fuck and have all the kids. Yeah. Um, I just been through this with Colt before. But I am not her. And don't I'm make not... you break your fucking arm. What? Excuse me? I have said, uh, I don't want to do you any harm. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't, I, I, you know, um, I, I, I don't care about Brazil or America, but now I have cult. No, I have cult. I'm sorry, what? I said I have a cold. Oh, okay. Oh, oh we will go get you some you know what? echinacea later. Let's just agree to get along. Okay. Or my friend behind us is gonna have something to say. Um, can I? I don't like you. You don't like me. I don't think you want either of us to turn out the wrong way. Do. And scene. It was intense, That's y'all. That's exactly what I don't know <laughs> where they got that light on the beach. I know, it, it came out great. of nowhere. Anyway, and that chair with one rickety leg. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal though. <clears throat> what Okay, so this is a lot of the story, but what is good about this is then we they the editing was masterful on this because they oh, yeah. did that scene and then they cut to Jess in, in a testament and she says Larissa was right. Mhm. And I felt chills go down my back when she said it. She's a wolf. She and then they showed that and she is a wolf, y'all. This is this is keep your friends closer and keep your keep your friends yep. close and your enemies closer. And then Debbie said, and I'm sure you're a sweetheart. And as soon as you get to know me, you'll find out I'm a sweetheart. I'm a sweetheart, sweetheart too. too. Yeah. Debbie ain't no sweetheart. Debbie's y'all. not a sweetheart. She's gonna protect her son over everything she and is. keep and keep that arrangement that she has living with her son. Son. Because uh, you think Colt's <clears throat> ever gonna move out of her house nope. uh, while she's alive nope. and warm? Nope. No. Nope. No. Uh, no. That's all I've got about those two. Should we move on to Larissa? Because we do those together. Yeah, let's do Larissa and then we'll take oh, a break after God. that. Y'all. I am so thankful for her this season. I love her. This this show, this <sighs> season of this show would be garbage without Larissa. I, it would be garbage. <laughs> it just would be so... Boring. I don't know, boring, but so um, heavy. <clears throat> yeah. Even though she's got heavy stuff too, she's just. But the way she handles things is just so inherently just. She just she she always says the first thing she's thinking. You know, if she started a, <coughs> if she started a GoFundMe to help pay for her go to law school, I would contribute. <laughs> I want to talk about that. I'm all about Y'all, that. She's going to see Adam, the hot as fuck lawyer. Okay. He's so hot to me. You, it's been too long because he's cutish. <laughs> he's hot. I think he's, he's not really hot. hot as fuck. He's he cutish. Is hot. He's so His hot. His beard to me. has died really dark. I don't care. You y'all. It's been four months, and Poodle's a hankering he's for a yankering. I'm hankering for a hunk of dick. Yeah. <laughs> he's just a <laughs> hunk of hunk of burning hunk of dick. dick. He's just a hunk of hunk of burning um, dick. Give it to me now. <laughs> so, uh, it's you know what? It's medium size too. It's, it's, a, ab- it's a nice dick. He's got boyfriend dick. Yeah, it is. You know what? He's got anyway. a great butt, and it's probably kind of smooth. He's so he hot. You just like to rub your hands over it while he's pummeling you like a horse. <laughs> Maybe he is cuter than I thought. <laughs> no, now that you think about it. <laughs> uh, anyway. anyway, she goes to see his office. Y'all, there's... 
a huge She's neon sign in the <laughs> office it's, it's, that it's, says it's pretty ridiculous. The DUI doctor, <laughs> doctor. Yeah, I have a feeling uh, Adam is pretty much an ambulance chaser. <laughs> he kind of looks like that guy here in L.A. What does it say called Jesse or whatever? Sweet James. Sweet James <laughs> here in Los Angeles. That's what he's called, y'all. Sweet James has uh, uh, billboards now. Y'all, if you fuck Sweet James, let us know. <laughs> at us. I want to hear that tea. Uh, so you guys, too. she is hoping her charges will be reduced to disorderly <laughs> conduct. 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 Um, conducty. Um, and anyway, she's really excited that to talk to him. And she said, Adam is superstar. And he really, Adam, uh, he puts you in his shoes. In, y- y- <laughs> in his- so my idea was Larissa... <laughs> Being a, a tiny Larissa being put into Adam's <laughs> shoes. I worry, is Adam a real attorney? Because his office is so clean. It is it very clean. It does not clean. look like an attorney's desk. It does seem like they rented a space. It does. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about, you mentioned it before. You guys, her atter- her dream is to be, I love the fact her that brothers Alyssa, are attorneys. The, Aly- Alyssa, Larissa has dreams. And she and she's like, I kind of want to be attorney, um, and because she's not dumb. I, no, she's intelligent. She's a fucking survivor. She is. I would like to just take a moment to imagine what Larissa, attorney at law, would be like. Okay. She would show up in the tiniest little pantsuit with her boobs barely holding barely, in. Yeah. It would be a very expensive pantsuit. Oh yeah, she it likes would... nice things. Your Honor. Uh, I would like to move for a mistrial because, Yoge, my, his, this woman's husband, yes, she killed him, but he cheapy. He cheapy. <laughs> he cheapy. <laughs> Case dismissed. And you know what? <laughs> you would never know what she was thinking because her face would be so frozen at that point. <laughs> it would be a total poker face. Objection. Objection. <laughs> Objection. No. <laughs> that would he, be her. He, just... he get women to call me chissy butt. She would be con- kind of like, what's his name in Chicago? But for women. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Billy, oh, Billy. Billy. Flynn. Phil, Flynn. All I care about but is love. Love. And nice cars. <laughs> and nice clothes. <laughs> I I still like I still like ladies and gentlemen of the yuri of the yuri <laughs> of the yuri. I think she'd be a fantastic I lawyer. I to you today, today to tell you this man he no spendy <laughs> on the trendy. <laughs> I, anyway, I would love. She, I would watch that show. Me too. I'd watch her. Give her the spinoff, <clears throat> Larissa's Law. <laughs> it would it would be Larissa's lawyer. Yes, Larissa's lawyer. Uh, so she also has an idea that maybe she. This is so. I don't know if this is bullshit, you guys, but or maybe she really. I think she does have a big heart. I I just think it's maybe not the best employed the best ways. No, she wants to work in it, or maybe she's she's just blowing smoke up his ass. She wants to work maybe in immigration. Maybe I could be your future assistanty. And he's, she's like, I do not think Adam's wife would enjoy would like it. that. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you that. Yeah, she'd have your you killed. Oh yeah. The first day he'd be fucking you on a desk. Oh, you would you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um. Anyway, uh, he's even asking. So, how'd your anger management classes go? She's like, I learned that you cannot control anyone. Which is a good thing That's to a learn. Because you can't. Right. Which is a lot of anger for Pete's Yeah, That's they talk about that. He asks about Eric. Uh, she's like, Eric, uh, we, you know, the, the, he, uh, he's, uh, we, we kind of back together. Uh, but before, we, he had, we had problems because he talked to some girls. They, you know, make threats. They stalk a life. And they stalk a they life. Stalk a life. 
<laughs> and my favorite thing said they stalk alive. I'm a question though. She said that being with Eric, she's worried that it's going to be a taxi environment. <laughs> what is it like being around a bunch of taxis? I was confused. What is that? A taxi environment? What does that mean? Y'all, <laughs> we make fun of her accent because it's ridiculous. And someone, there, there's a whole thing people have tagged me on of how to speak Larissa Portuguese. It's a because it's genius because everybody else that's been from from, uh, from well, Brazil, someone, it's not the same. And some that people have said people make fun of her accent because it's such a specific regional accent, and it's just everything about her voice is very up and downy. <laughs> and it's just, I love it. I love her. Uh, anyway, so basically, so we she ends <laughs> she ends going to the attorney saying, "I needed to stay out the trouble." So I can talk to the huge, cut, and the huge will not yes. <laughs> let me go by. <laughs> cut to y'all. She's going on a date with Eric, and she is ridiculously overdressed for this restaurant. <laughs> she looks beautiful. <laughs> Eric's wearing a fucking t-shirt and like a champion jacket from Target. I feel like though this is not. This is a. Oh, by the way, you guys. This is a definitely a farm to table restaurant because a farm to table restaurant will always have somewhere on the wall farm to table. That's and true. they will they can't wait to tell you they about it. They can't wait to tell you. <laughs> Did you know we're farm to table here? Everything. Everything. Ugh. Yeah, I got that when you name me the restaurant is Farm, farm to, table. to Table. Yeah, but did Ugh, you know, God, I, literally the farm, it's, and it's on your table. It's not, y'all, there's a great Portlandia about that, where they're oh. asking about, uh, so where's the, chick, where's the chicken from? They're like, good, did it have a good life? And it ends with them like going to the farm to visit the chicken. Yeah. They become sister wives. <laughs> <laughs> Portland is like that. Oh, God. There's so I many love that assholes city, but there are, in the Pacific Northwest. There are a lot of... Um, a lot of like white yeah. privilege shit. Uh, anyway, so I love it though. I love I love that area. Oh, it's beautiful. I, yeah. One of the most beautiful areas of the country I've ever been. So uh, he, uh, yeah, you're right. She's way. I feel like this restaurant is more, much, much less upscale than she's. Think, but I don't know if she has. Does Larissa have anything in between casual clothes and really dressy? She may no. not live that. Yeah, because we see her, you know, later at home. Where she's just in kind of like a sweatsuit sweat and a top knot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he pulls out her chair, you guys. And she's basically like, did you miss me? He's like, yeah, I missed you. And she blows him a kiss. So and then I kisses. think this is time you know, for another you're right. episode you're right. of another installment of 90, 90 Days, Days Theater. Theater. <laughs> I always start that too high. You I'm do, because then I have to be like, <laughs> I know, <laughs> try to get dominant, and I don't like it either. So <laughs> I, it's, it's, I, I brought it on myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that could be the name of your memoir. I brought I it brought on it. myself. <laughs> That's like part three. And then in the corner will be a picture of your mother that says, Ford by Mother Poodle. <laughs> God, I told him. This was my fault. <laughs> I was a terrible mother. <laughs> your mother really should write the, the forward to your memoir. When Jay Bird was little, I told him he could do anything he wanted if he put his mind to it. Don't say that. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> All right, so, so they're at the restaurant. Poodle will be playing the role of Larissa. Yeah. I'll be playing the role of Eric. Um, so, and, and we're at the restaurant sing. and sing. So, I, hey. I missed you. Hey, babe. Did you miss me? Yeah, I just caught your kiss to my heart. Here. Do it again. <sighs> oh, I love it. I'm going to awkwardly catch it. And it's then slowly very strange when chest. you express so sweetie. Oh yeah. When you do that. Yeah. Um uh, I mean, babe, you come so far. I mean, is your ex boyfriend is Colt out of the picture? Oh, completely. Oh. Yeah, no. So are, you, I, are you free I'm now? Free. You're... I'm free. I'm free like a ducky in the snow. I don't know what that it's means. It's very common oh, expression okay. in oh. Brazil. Okay. Is there snow in Brazil? No. Okay. Just, I, as far as I know, um, I I want 
I'm free like a ducky. Okay. Ducky. Anyway. You're so beautiful. I love your boobs, babe. Thank you. Uh, you, you know what? Tell me what you did not like about relationship in the past. Oh, uh, wow. Well, um, you know, I think we maybe spent a little too much time together, you know? Oh, like, really? Yeah. What about you? What, what do you? I I feel like you are very independent. Independent. Yes, yes, yes. And mm-hmm. I also feel like you are a little bit cheapy. Oh, cheapy, like, like, like chippy, tight. To chippy, like, chippy, like a wood chipper. No, cheapy, as like, in like I'm chipping, small like wallet, chips. small wallety. Oh, cheap. Yeah, small wallet. Cheap. So no money. Ye. See. So you want money? No, I want to let money flow. Let let the money flow down on me, like, like shower me with money. Like in a bed where we're naked and no, I'm just fucking you no, with money. Okay. No, uh, I want um, money. Oh, so what? Do what, you understand? Uh, understand the I want your money. Okay. Okay. What What should I get do with my money? My boobs, boobies, that cities, floaties, I feel flotation it. devices. Why is everything in the room spinning and I feel hypnotized right now? Guavas. Boobs, boobs, boobs. You know, that's boobs. the great thing about you, uh, Eric. I'm sorry, what? I'll look you up. accept me the way I am me. Um, I feel like when I'm with you, I, I don't think about any for anybody from my past. And um, I really love the way you're eating those french fries right now. I eat them with four keys. They, they're so sexy. It's like, it's like. It's like relating in the tram. I cannot open eyes. It's like, this is a night. It's a beautiful night. And they call it Bella Notti. And scene. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Would you have a kitten with me? <laughs> That's a big commitment, That's y'all. A big, cats, I would love to have a cat with you. Cats live for like 20 years. Oh, God. This was so weird. It was so weird. <laughs> I don't have a good feeling about Eric. No, there's something skeezy thought, about him. We there's thought something he was gay. I don't think he's gay. He's, but there's something he's fronting. Ske- there's something about him. He's like, yeah, there's something weird about him. I don't think he's good. I can't <laughs> believe I'm saying this. I think he will fuck her over. Oh, yeah. I totally believe that. Although she will sell him to the highest bidder. <laughs> oh, yes. The only reason she's getting back with him is so uh, she needs she's money. She lonely. has a job. Yeah, and she wants big boobies. And she knows if she gets bigger <laughs> boobs, she'll get a richer guy. I feel like a ducky in the, the snow. snow. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And he went, okay. Although y'all, she she did she kind of closes her eyes halfway when she's eating her fries with a fork with her big old lips, and that's kind of how I eat fries because I kind of close my eyes, <laughs> and, and just take it I, I would just face fuck a thing of fries, y'all. <laughs> I just like sit there and eat like a horse. <laughs> I'd face I'd face fuck an order of fries right now. It's true. Anyway. Uh- I, I did post a thing about me watching Larissa on our Facebook page about me watching Larissa eat fries with a fork. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I must have watched it about six times. I did too. Yeah. It was and really... then she just closes her eyes and has a problem eating with her lips. And then she just gives up and just tries Grabs to it. eat it. Yeah. Bless. You know, they have farm to table fries. They so, do. Yeah. Literally, they come from the farm. They're a potato. Um, anyway, That's so basically their date, she just tells him and it kind of leads in this next segment. We can kind of where she says, I'm worried about talking to my friend Carmen, Carmen about this. who she's staying with. That's why I stay with because I have nowhere to go. And then he pays a check and she smiles. And then we get to... Because <laughs> that's the way to Larissa's that's heart. That's Larissa's heart. You pay checky. You pay checky. <laughs> so Larissa's talking to Carmen and she says, we're back together. What is this? And Carmen kind of... Carmen Keeps it real, and she was like, "Oh yes." Um, and uh, honestly, Larissa kind of gets defensive and goes from like zero to ten real quick. And <laughs> Carmen's like, "Look, you don't need a man. I don't like the way he treated you." Yeah, she's really. Uh, she goes there. She goes there, and basically, Carmen says, "Do I, tr- uh, do I trust this guy?" No. 
Um, and she's and the risk, Carmen's kind of like, look, I'm the one that lets you stay with me. Right. I'm the one. I we didn't know this. I'm the one that paid the money to bail you out. We did not know that. That's she's true. She's like, look, um, if you do this, I hope you know what you're doing. But I'm not taking the drama, and you yeah, gotta be out. And you gotta be weekend. out for the weekend. And that was, and Larissa was like, "Fuck, yeah." She's like, "My life is fucked. Fuck she was my like, life." She goes outside. <laughs> she didn't because y'all, Carmen's a hundred percent right. Yeah, Carmen just doesn't want to be any of the drama. And she says, "I'm not yeah. your enemy. I want to be your friend. I just can't be around the drama." And I think Carmen is right by saying, "Larissa." You just need to spend time by – you don't need to get – because before she got in trouble with Eric because they broke up, and then that's when the women were calling him saying, you got chissy, buddy. Yes. And so she still thinks women – that Eric put up women to doing that. The thing is – But she can't – she has to stay uh, spotless crime-wise. She really needs to not be any with any men at all. Right. She needs to just get herself a good vibrator, which I'm sure she already does. I'm sure she already has. Um, and like, if she doesn't, she really from, should. But I think she thinks I need the money, so I need a guy. She just needs to just suck it up, and if she can work somewhere, I don't know if she can though. She can't work yet. She needs to just talk to her dad and just get things done until yeah. she can just be spot free. She can't work until she gets green card. Yeah. Yeah. Got to lay low. Yeah. It's ugh. Anyway, y'all, that's Larissa. That's Larissa. That's Larissa. Thank God Thank she's God here. for Larissa. So we should take a bit of a break. Oh, after that 90-day theater, <laughs> I need some water. Y'all, we'll see you oh, after wow. the commercial. Damn, this show is long. <sighs> I'm even I don't have time to talk about your office. Why can't Sorry. I hear myself? Why can't we hear ourselves? What happened? Oh, God. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Y'all, we're not editing that out. That's real time. Sorry, y'all. We had to stop the show because I had- Because you had to handle office bitch drama. I had cubicle warrior drama, and sometimes <laughs> there's fraud on, like, the, fraud on the office Amex, and it's chaos. It sounded like you were Samuel L. Jackson in that movie, The Negotiator. <laughs> you were just talking someone down. Trying to get make it all work. Is that a real movie? Am I making that up? I think. That's a real movie, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> It seems like exactly a movie that would happen. It's true. Okay, I've got a cameo to do. Oh, God. But I've can got, you focus, two, hour, I've got you, two hours to do it. Can you focus on us instead of, I don't ask for much of your time. <laughs> Have you ever said that to someone in a relationship? Can you focus on me? Have you ever said that? Uh, No. Uh, usually they are. <laughs> if they're not focused on me, I kicked them to the curb. <laughs> Or you go make out with another guy in front of them, and suddenly they're focused on you. How many times have you been with a guy and made, <clears throat> pardon me, and made out with another guy in front of them? I, I'd like to say never, but I'm thinking about it. I, I said that very Marissa. I'm thinking about it. Um, I've never. Mm, I. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm not trying to hedge my bets Think here. Think about Poodle I have 20s. Went, I've went places with people who I have hooked up with and went to like a bar and then like I've made out with someone else there. But we weren't actually dating. If I'm dating someone, I don't go to a gay bar with them. Because uh, you can't trust yourself? Uh, No, because why you bring sand to the beach? True. Don't bring sand to the beach, y'all. If you're dating someone, don't go to some kind of singles bar. Because you're going to wind up like ass up on the bar. <laughs> Man, She's am not I just wrong. Speaking, am I speaking from my own personal no, experience? No, you're not wrong Don't about this. Don't bring sand to the beach. You know. Don't bring your girlfriend to a bar where there's kind of all kinds of hooking up action going on. Fuck someone else. Yeah. Remember, though, y'all, if there are two, take one thing from our podcast. Don't bring sand to the beach. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you know what? And don't bring Libby to Moldova. <laughs> Moldova. Moldova. You can't. <laughs> Moldovia. Moldova. 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 All right, y'all. This, um, their section was way too long. Oh, there was so much we, of this fake fighting. We might be uh, cliff noting some of this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I don't say, know if I have it here, in me. Here, here, I'm going to book in all of it. All the, all the fights are about two things, you guys. He's from a conservative culture. She's not. She was raised to be very independent by her trash family. 
Um, mm-hmm. And she is consistently butting heads with him about that. Now, the fact that Andre lives with her and is raising her baby as a stay-at-home dad already makes him an anomaly. Yeah. So, but every time he says it, I think she knows he doesn't fully go believe everything his family says. He's, she yeah. knows it. She knows it, and he's saying it because it goats her. Right. But he knows he doesn't really have a leg to stand on because yeah. he wouldn't be eating in yeah. America if exactly. it wasn't for her making money. Also, also, he he knows she thinks it's cute. She yes. That's the thing, y'all. They're aware. This is a this is Lucy and Ricky, but a lot less entertaining. And at the end of the day, <laughs> she likes his ass and his abs. Yeah, and he likes her tits. And that kind of push me around and mentality of like hard, hard ass guy pays off well in the bedroom and she's okay with it. And that's all we need to know. If you're saying, oh, he's such a misogynist. He is. He is. And you know what? She signed up for she, it. And she, she likes it. it. So that's the If you're getting really upset about. I don't about, like either of them. Yeah. If you're, I'd still fuck him. Oh, if you're getting <laughs> upset about Elizabeth and Andre. They're, Stop! Don't you, wait. You're wasting energy. I'm going to give you a gift, y'all. <laughs> this is a metaphor. If you're getting upset about other people in your life, guess what? If they're not upset about it, yeah, you don't need to be upset. And about they it. ain't. They're sleeping fine at they're night. They're fine. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is a farce. It is. It's this a is, total farce. This is this is a wonderful farce they are putting on. They are now. Uh, some of the some of the interesting things I I did like in the storyline. First of all, it was like fucking gone with the wind. This it was, so long. was so long. So she thinks he looks sexy driving a stick. Uh, this whole like kind of like Cro Magnon thing he's got going on again. And you know I'm what? Probably not a good one to talk about because I think it's hot too. She's right. <laughs> he looks fucking She's hot. Right. Is there like he was backing up in the space and there was something really hot Y'all, about him driving. If he wants to throw me around a oh, little bit, God. I'm not gonna have a problem with oh, it. Oh, drive this stick. I am so Elizabeth in this scenario. You know why? Because <laughs> we're driving down the highway <laughs> and you're it's sticking your dick me. in my ass. <laughs> and we're driving down the highway. Don't look back because I, I don't want to fuck you. you. <laughs> don't turn back because I'm gonna suck your dick. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna suck your dick, <laughs> y'all. That was and she does. That was some smothered <laughs> and ninety day. We have was it, was it the, the girl? The girl who's like, this has been in my head for four weeks. Thank uh, you. <laughs> did we, um, that is, we did have someone tweet us. So cue fake fighting. Her they they kind of put her dad. I I kind of Amanda Milky. Milky. She tweeted. She's had it in her um, head all day. She. Uh, she wants to lock his dad in the car, and she's like, no, you have OCD. Uh, I kind of agree. If the father's there, do you really need to lock the car? It's fine. Yeah. Um, anyway, the first place, they're looking for wedding venues, y'all. Mm-hmm. This is like, this This whole thing looks like a retirement home plus a casino. <laughs> this, <laughs> It's awful. It's awful. Very Soviet it chic. Look, it looks like a place Ronald will go pick up his father-in-law at the airport. <laughs> Um, um, they don't have food to try. There's just, just pictures. pictures of food, y'all. That's a red flag. This, don't ever get, do anything without tasting your food. This place looks like where that like where like um the Americans would have gotten married in Russia before they left to become the Americans. Yes, very 1980s chic. Very, it's, it's low like Soviet ceiling. block. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so like that's the thing, you guys. You'll see in. Former Soviet republics, you'll see that kind of every building is built in the same style. Mm-hmm. That was just how they did it. And um, she even communist, yes. Yeah. And she even says they're looking through the food, and she's like, "Wait, we don't have food to taste here." And she's like, "I love your food. My family are basically horrible, uppity Americans. Oh, they're so awful." But then, let me say something that I take issue with. <laughs> I I wrote the same thing down. We're going to have the same idea, probably. And we watched this separately, you guys. So. Yeah. Libby said, Americans eat what at weddings, Poodle? Fried chicken. Poodle, <laughs> have you ever been to a wedding and someone had fried chicken? No, unfortunately. And no. Because that's not what you have. We're from the South. Yeah. Never have that I had happen. fried chicken at a now, wedding. Now, maybe at some kind of like Southern theme wedding done by Yankees. 
where they're Maybe. like they're outside. Yeah, and they've got oh, we got it's, it's like a picnic, and we've got biscuits and honey, and, and it's kind chip. of and it's kind of like demeaning at the same time. Um, I want to so, maybe a rehearsal dinner. I, sure, that, well, that's fine. I want to talk about the idea that she says maybe they can make something special for my family. That's what I want to talk about. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Now that's bullshit. I know her father's paying, but this is in Moldova. Do as Moldovans do. You're not gonna. We're, I guarantee you the the families. You know what? You know what they are. They are expecting the special things for them. They're expecting some kind of baked chicken yeah. with a fucking baked potato and a vegetable medley. And that makes me so angry. I want to throw this out the window because I'm thinking about it. Those are food and pictures, <laughs> but it looked good and it was interesting. And it's fucking Moldovan food. Just. Do as, they, I remember, do as they do. I remember even, I was that bitch, even when I when I won that national mascot competition and I got to go march in a parade with like 3,000 cheerleaders in London over New Year's Eve. Y'all, his face right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want it to be over really quickly. <laughs> but anyway, I, I went. And, this is going to be a stupid story. <laughs> no, and I went I went with uh, uh, Renee Dark and. Uh, <laughs> Renee Dark. Renee Dark. <laughs> No, and uh, what was his name? Uh, Josh, was it Josh Christopherson? Christopherson? How did you say it? It was Christopherson. No one cares. Anyway, <laughs> Renee and Josh Christopherson. No one gives a shit. <laughs> they, How do you say his fucking name? They, they came with me from <gasps> my high school. And everybody, that they, they all wanted McDonald's and shit like that. And I said, no, I'm in London. I'm having British food. So I went off by myself and had London food. And this was in 1997. When it was horrible, <laughs> but I still ate it out of pride because I right. didn't want to be a dumb American good, eating good American fish food. and chips, That's, bangers and mash. I had that, yeah. And I had a good like, but the food wasn't good then. And the best Indian food you'll ever have in your life. No, is this in, was in the nineties. Yeah, they didn't have that. Yeah, now it's much. But I just want to say, y'all, if you're going to a new country, eat try their food. Their food. Um, unless you're like me in China, that's too when, different. When I would have to have McDonald's once a week, that's <laughs> different because also some of them got sick for their food. Well, so. true. I will say though, um, I could eat any. I could eat Chinese food for lots of different meals. I could never eat the Chinese food for breakfast. Sometimes when it was non, did they have, did they have McGriddles there for had, breakfast? Yeah, we, we. I would eat McDonald's breakfast. Yeah, McDonald's they breakfast. never had McDonald's. They never had. They never had McGriddles. They would have. Like the big breakfast, like with like, or like a oh. biscuit or something like that. I haven't had McDonald's biscuits and gravy forever. I've never had their biscuits. They're all kind. There. It's not Hardee's. Oh, Hardee's. <laughs> so. Oh, y'all. That's Carl's Jr. and most of the. Ooh. If you're not in the South, anyway. Um, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, they do say so. Uh. And sh- but Andre says she's like maybe they can make something specific for them. And Andre's like, sure. There's a McDonald's across the street. I loved it. I loved it too. That's exactly the the response, you guys. These fucking bougie family of her. But she knows when I bring up, y'all. She was raised somewhat kind of right. She knows that that's rude to bring up. She knows, but she's bringing it up because it goats him. Yep, that's what there. I think, goads him. You keep saying goats him. It's goad. It's the goad. I didn't know G- that. G o a d. I thought it was goat them, and I never understood why. God help me. I didn't know that. Oh, I am not responsible for educating you. Goat. I am not your Anna and the King. I'm so tired of teaching you life lessons on everything and correcting you. You're... Not smart. Uh, anyway, anyway, let's go on. Um, she's so, then they have this testimony where they basically this is what people got, and as I said, a kerfluffle about a curf, not a kerfluffle, a kerfuffle. However, yes. a lot of people have come at us and said they say kerfluffle where they're from too. I feel like when you say a lot of people, it's like when Trump says a lot of people were telling me. <laughs> And it means these some people I made up in my head. Some woman named Shiva. Thank uh-huh. you, Shiva. But uh, anyway, he like gets ang- basically she she's angry. He's interrupting her, and then Andre kind of goes off. He well, he tells her he screams at her, "Shut up!" 
And this is it's because she finally pushes that one last button on him. on him. And when she when she does when he does that with her, she walks off. And people are like, I can't I a lot of people on social media, y'all, I'm not excusing his behavior. It was a little aggressive. And I know it this was. Is, it kind of bothered me too. I know this is triggering for like men on women violence and you're kinda lunk. But however, he will, goes back to find her, and in the same second, she says to him, I had to walk away before I punched you in the face yeah. for real. So, y'all, this is a dual offender here. Uh, yeah. This they... is not, she is <sighs> like, that is not okay for a woman to say that to a man. Yeah, it's not okay this for a man okay. to say that to a woman. This not, is not, not yeah. okay on both ends. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, I I feel like they're on equal footing with where it's, I think we said before he's abusive to her, she's, she's abusive, abusive to, to him. him. They're, yeah, they're both horrible. Yeah, yep, yeah, I agree. And he's really hot. But still, fuck him. Oh, anyway, God, she, he says you're a magnet for bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, it really is kind of like they're both kind of gross, immoral people, and they found one another. I agree. Um, I kind of think that he, uh, Andre had something, Andre had something where she said, "You're." he's like, you're just hangry. Because I'm the same. I'm the same. If you, you need to get me food, you need to get food in me, or I will bite your head off. It's true. Yeah. I have a comedian a friend, Sean Pulaski, who talks a lot about um, Naughty, she loves Naughty Day too. We should maybe have her on sometime. But anyway, she talked on her Instagram. She was doing a video of them kind of t- talking while she was watching. And she just kept saying, and I'm so important because I can say Andre, Andre the right way. <laughs> that makes me so smarter than you because I say Andre, 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 Andre. Andre. I was dying. <laughs> I'll put her Instagram on the show notes. Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is awful. So she is he. Idiot. Yeah. That's um, really kind of all you get. And then they go to a nice place. It's nicer. There's it's pretty. Y'all. She, uh, she thinks her family would really like it. They get to eat. They get to eat food. I just want to say one thing. If you know you're going to go eat food, don't wear a dark red fuchsia lipstick. <laughs> First of all, you've got it. It's hard to eat. Yeah. You've got lipstick everywhere. People are noticing your lips. It's not great. I think she looked really good in she Moldova, does, but not when you're eating. Yeah, like, I agree. Wear a lighter lip color. Yeah, because I think when we, we see her most, it seems like we've seen her a lot in the home, and where she's just like normally has a ponytail around, and then she's full glam for confessionals, which is why we've called her Two Face for so long. Yeah, but I mean, you've got to have um, this lip. Like, I agree. Do just so. It's a yeah, but it looked good until so. She ate. Uh, they are um, this one's place is much more modern. She gets to try this like cold meat platter. It's good, and he's it's like, fun. yeah, it's back of pork neck, so it's basically head cheese. Yeah, so that she's eating. She's like, ooh, she so, liked it. And finally, by the end, she likes it so much, y'all. She's like, they'll be fine. There's just chicken and bread. They'll be fine. <laughs> Which My is family. what they should be. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Also, too, I just want to say something. The wedding's only five thousand dollars. Yeah, that's which great. a lot of people don't know this. He raised so much about paying for this wedding. Europe has not gouged people on weddings like we have in America. Yeah. their weddings are much cheaper over there for the most part. I, I will say, uh, Elizabeth, Papa Elizabeth could like shit five thousand dollars every morning. I mean, probably y'all, with his rental properties. If Poodle sold some of his old books and sex toys. <laughs> And I sold a couple of uh, some of my Wonder Woman mil- memorabilia and shit I, I bought off Facebook. I could probably make five grand. We could pay for this wedding. <laughs> anyway, five thousand is a very is a very affordable wedding with it's sixty fine. guests. Yeah, it's fine yeah. with sixty guests. Five thousand is a with, with all all encompassing is a very affordable wedding. Yeah. And then that's all of their segment because that was already so much more. Surely they wouldn't want to continue this nope, storyline. There's more, but wait. <laughs> so, um, uh, they. I like. I kind of liked at the end. Now, now you guys. Uh, by the end, they're dancing with Nadeshda, the woman who's helping. Yeah, she's singing. They're dancing. We've forgotten all about the little snit fight that we had. We did, and that's how you know, you guys. And this was a different day, I believe, because uh, they had different clothes on. Yeah, but you can tell these either these two forgive each other quicker than anyone ever has, or this is all water off a duck's back, and it's all made up. Yep. I don't know. That's all I can they're, say. They're free like a ducky in the snow. Ducky in the snow. Um, um, so, so, yeah. 
Next. I, I want to say one thing. She yeah. did. He the next day, they're talking. They're in their, their confessional, and she's talking. He starts to interrupt her, and he's like, "Oh no, finish, finish what you said. Sorry." And I don't know if that was scripted or not, but she like, oh, and but, <laughs> they're both awful. They're y'all. both awful. And I do think they both love each other in their yeah. weird, fucked up way. I and I think and I think here's the thing. They both of these two people know how to perform for the camera, and they they know that we really aren't supposed to like them because they know they're obnoxious. I think they're fine with that. Too. They're fine with it, y'all. If Poodle was on reality TV, oh, he would be fine to be I'm the villain. The, I'm the villain. I and he guarantee would be fine. you, and I I'm fine with it as long as you yeah. know, as long as you pay him. Yeah, and so I would never complain about getting a bad edit because I knew how they would do it. Y'all, he would be vicious on Big Brother. <laughs> vicious. I, I, I have a pretty good gameplay. The I would, I would, I would. The, everyone knows the way you do those kind of games is you fade into the background. You say under the radar until about the last six people, and then you start making alliances. Or you make you make alliances the whole way through, and then you start showing who you really are. That's how you do it. I could win those things in a second. I want you to be on Big Brother. <laughs> I still want you to be on Find Love Live. <laughs> <laughs> and they come up like, nope, 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 nope. Who's got any more? Only three? Only three? Mm-hmm. Um, real quickly, they go to their park. It's fine. They go to his park where he grew up. It's cute. She's like, it's on the older side. It's a cute Ugh. little neighborhood. It's fine. And then we get a it's little... Kind of, it is kind of run down. It's very Soviet block. Uh, I kind of feel like TLC is making more than it is. But yeah. um, then we get a little bit of talking between his mother-in-law and um, his dad, basically, about the mother-in-law. is like, do you think the family will like coming here? And basically, no. They're well, going to be bougie. It's not going to go well. And we know all of this. And then, But she says something that's really interesting. She's like, I don't think you're... Fully translating completely. <laughs> she, he's and, not. And he's like, well, you just need to learn the language. She's like, I'm working on it. She's like, I'm getting there, bitch. Yeah. Once she knows the language, you're fucked. Yeah, that's true. Um, anyway, you guys, uh, I can't wait until her family get here and ruin everything they've got going on. Oh, yeah. Because you know Jen's going to be a complete disaster. Disaster. Just mean, gross. Ugh. We we can agree. We 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 do think that uh, um, uh, Andre and Libby know what they're doing. The family, however, they're just obnoxious. They they're are. just gross to the core. They are. Yeah. And Elizabeth, strangely enough, even though we talk shit about her, she's kind of the best of them. She is the best of them, I think. Ugh. She is. Anyway, y'all, she's gonna get baptized. <laughs> yeah, because we there's more. Let's go get baptized. The, this is a marathon. So she's so she's like, I can't I, I don't really know anything about this religion. First of all, yeah, we keep calling it a religion, but I would like to say this is still Christianity. This is just Orthodox Christianity. Yeah. Pretty much all the rules the same. The same. Jesus is still the Son of God. There's still the Trinity. There's still yeah, there's there's, there's uh, still the Bible. Yeah. And like and th- it's like when people back home I get it because growing up Catholic. Yeah. People would say, like, oh, you're not Christian. I'd be like, well, actually, your Protestant religion came from my religion. <laughs> so They're like, no, you don't. You no, worship you Mary. And I was like, well, we were first, and then you split <laughs> off. That's not true. <laughs> but are you washing the blood of Jesus, yeah. young man? Jesus anointed us. He said, Lone Grove Assembly of God <laughs> is coming from me. <laughs> like, no, but Lone sure. Grove Assembly of God. But sure, they the only true way. I read Stop Town was in the good book. <laughs> Stop Town so Baptist. Stop Town First Baptist Church <laughs> or Free Will Baptist. Free Will Baptist. Shut uh, up. I, where I'm from, Baptist. Come at me if you come a family of a uh, Baptist that thinks Catholics are devil worshippers because they all did. Uh, where I, was from. I was. I was never brought up that way. Oh, they hated um, the Catholic Church. Uh yeah, well the Catholic Church was kind of in in we had a Catholic Church in Pickens. It wasn't wasn't highly attended, mostly for people who were out out of the area. I think for us it was more of a classist thing. It's people that and nobody was rich in my hometown, but people that quote unquote had a little bit more money or, or thought to have had more money were Catholics went to the Catholic Church. Hmm. So I think it's more of it was a classist thing. Okay. Anyway, um, so I just want to say again. 
the basically the only, one of the few differences there are differences obviously between the orthodox because that actually split off from the catholic church as well yes. it became the catholic church in the east the orthodox church and the catholic church in the west mm-hmm. um usually they say my is like orthodox christianity but normally it's eastern orthodox mm-hmm. Uh, there are also s- different sh- uh, offshoots of there's the Russian Orthodox, there's Latvian Orthodox, there's all kinds of, uh, of versions of that. But the the biggest difference, y'all, is they have Easter after one week after us. <laughs> and there's Greek Orthodox, too. So it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and they don't celebrate Christmas usually, I think, on the 25th. Yeah, it's one week it's after. more the 12 days yeah, uh, and all ve- that. Very big into the 12 days. Very big into 12 Epiphany, days. Yeah. Epiphany and all mm-hmm. that. Um, because it's a different calendar. Yeah. Um, but they're... they're that, they, they are... He is... They're not going to eat your brain. She's they're, talking about it like it is Scientology. They're not, they're not selling you as a sex slave. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's fine. So it, it's almost like... And all of this could have been handled. She's really confused at the whole baptism. What about Google? She could have Googled, Googled it. what was happening. She's she's very very. And I and I. She was like she was doing you know all these you know I'm I'm be- going through this kind of ritual in another language. And all I can think of is imagine being in the Catholic Church and everything being in Latin, and yeah. you still couldn't understand what was yeah. happening to you. I yeah. Don't- <laughs> I've got a lot of issues with religion personally. I've talked about it on the show no. before. But still, <laughs> if I was doing this for someone else, I really would be like, I'm doing this for them and I love them and I want to really like... You want to respect it. Respect it yeah. and be open to it and really, you know, be in it and be respectful of that out of love. Um, and, and, and I feel like, too, uh, this is all kind of put in a way of, yeah, we have to get past this so we can get married. Yeah. So... This is a sacred religious right. What do we are, need present are, in the yeah. moment? You guys, there are very few rights these days. Yeah. There's baptism, marriage, and last rites. That's basically it. So well, confirmation. All, but yeah, those are the well, big ones. Well, that's true. Those are the big ones. Yeah. Those are the big ones. Communion. So, communion is kind of big. Yeah. That's kind of the big one. <laughs> kind of the big one. My first communion was a big deal. I was very happy with the suit I was wearing that day. I looked <laughs> so cute. I'm glad you... When was your first communion? Uh, second grade. I guess that's about right. You have communion in second grade. I'm sure you were completely... You understood everything was happening to oh, you. Oh, everything in second grade. Yeah, you understood that mm-hmm. it was the actual blood of Christ in the mm-hmm. body you were, you were... I actually did get that. They, I mean, they kind of, and so you and you really believed that had been transubstantiated. Uh, that was that you were eating Jesus's body. Oh, totally for sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder. If, I wonder if that's explained thoroughly. I mean, sometimes. it was explained that. It, I mean, it's the metaphor, but you, we did get that it was. No, the, no, no. It's not a metaphor. You're. Well, that's I mean, that, that's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I never really believed it. That, that's Jesus. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I still don't believe that, though, as a 40 year old adult. But that's what I'm saying. I, I and I'm I'm not saying one way either way, y'all. So don't come for me. I'm saying the people people just like what he said is well. I understood the metaphor. I'm like, no, 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 nope. No, this is the actual body and blood. That's yes, it. Yes, it's that's it. But it also is different too. Is that like where it, you know Catholicism is different too? And yeah. Ours much more was not, it's not like an evangelical yeah. Catholicism. So right. those kind of interpretation I mean, was more open. Y'all, the Crusades, people th- yeah. were fought over that. Oh, yeah. Whether this is the actual blood of body and Christ or it's a metaphor. Kind of people died. Like Kendall Jackson Lots of to them. me. <laughs> so I'm just saying, although we talk about it as being a detail, it's kind of a big detail. Kind of a big detail. So again, I'm not espousing either one. Just know when you, whether you think that it's the actual blood and body or a representation is a big deal to a lot of people. The wafers were good. I would sneak them. I'd <laughs> Shut go sneak, up! Well, I would sneak in the rectory and eat them. Oh, and now people sneak in your rectory. It's true. Um, gong, gong, gong. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. Anyway, can we finish? They get married. And, and she's um, putting water. She steps in water. <sighs> And as the and then, the sacred rite, uh, you wear white dress, but make sure you have black puffy coat on. Exactly. <laughs> and slippers. And then <laughs> we start to hear this music. Dido's lament, y'all. This is from an opera called Dildo and and Aeneas. Rest. 
and thy breast. Let's skip to the end. That was going to the end. Oh, I was just going to the end. Forget my feet. Remember me. And then she does it all again. Yes. Basically her last thing in the opera. We call that opera, it's called Dido and Aeneas. We called it Dildo and Anus. <laughs> I love that opera, actually. I and know you don't, but I love it. I, it's a one act. I do like the music. I think I didn't love my time in the life. That's fair. I was having to do that it's opera. They didn't, anyway. they didn't really cast you well. Anyway, I just want to say, Dido and Anetus has nothing to do Absolutely with what they're doing. Absolutely nothing to do with religion. <laughs> it's not even a, it's not even, it's a secular. It's a, it's a, no, it's a secular piece. And it's yeah. also Roman um, it, history. It's secular means not sacred. They're sacred and secular. Sacred right. is religious. I think religious. we'll get that. Maybe not. But anyway, <laughs> it was wrong. Anyway. Anyway, she gets baptized. And then, do we even have to talk about this stupid dinner? No. Basically, let's put it, let's, let's book report this. Um, the sister, sister-in-law is basically saying, well, you know, uh, Andre, sometimes you can tell her things. And the brother's like, well, he does, she, he does stay at home while she works. But sister-in-law, y'all, is going to be an interesting enemy. She, um, cause yeah. she's basically like, shut up. She doesn't like Basically, this Elizabeth also leaves her cross at home and gets very upset because Andre did not tell her that she couldn't take it off. Yes. Um, I think if I were baptized, I'd probably leave it on for the whole day. <laughs> but I think I would. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it didn't go with her outfit at the Maybe. time. She still didn't wear any makeup, though. So it, it hadn't been very long. So it was, it's a, it was an interesting moment. Again, um, she just blamed Andre for not telling her. <laughs> she did. She threw him under the bus real quick. Real quick. Um, I think that's a common thing, though. And then that whole garbage about the woman being the neck and the man being the head. I don't Y'all, care about that. It's the same beat. Scene after I'm ready. scene I'm after ready for scene it to be done, with yeah. these two. Oh. Oh. At least her family might make it some interesting. And also. Oh, they're going to be awful. They're going to be so awful. Andre has not been shirtless this entire season. Very upsetting. What the fuck? Very upsetting. Can we talk about Angela and Michael? Yes. Michael. So we enter on this a sleeping quick, Angela. Yeah. I thought, and I have a thought, is she dead for, for, for a minute? Because Angela looks so peaceful when she's sleeping, although she is frowning in her sleep, which I enjoy. I think she was really sleeping, though. Uh-huh. Or either that or she's a, a good sleep act, actor. Uh, she's got the... the she's been there for one day, and I just want to comment on how Angela's completely demolished <laughs> the room already. I thought that, There's too. There's bras up on the headboard. Yep. And the lep- the headboard is leopard, which is perfect. It's, le- it's perfect. Yeah. There's many Pepsi, full and empty yeah. Pepsi bottles. She destroyed on the room. The- it's destroyed already. God, and she's trashy. She basically is like, oh, let me get up and cover my cooter. Cover my cooter. You're just horny. Y'all, this is two vagina names that we have that Angela now uses. Uh, coochie. Coochie. The word is coochie. coochie. Also. If used in a sentence. I'm not going to let you pinch my coochie. Second word, please. Cooter. The word is cooter. Can you use that in a sentence? Yes. I can't get up from the bed very quickly because I will show you my cooter. Thank you. (laughs) Ding. Ding. (laughs) Anyway, y'all. So those are two terms for vagina that she uses. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> we weren't sure. Now we know two. Now we know two. I think there's at least two others. I think so too. Mm-hmm. I think so. With, I think so as well. <laughs> um, so Michael's teaser. He's horny for his wife to be, which that was cute when he said for that. For my wife to for be. For my wife to be. Um, and then y'all, she shows Michael suits, and for a second, I'm like. Is Michael gay? Because I've never seen any man be this excited <laughs> about clothes. He's just excited. He does he's his just, Michael happy dance. He's like, wah! I mean, he is so excited. And he's like, I'm just excited <laughs> to get married. And he says, oh, my God, baby, these are expensive. Yeah. She's like, I know. They're not, y'all. No, they're not. These were $99 suits. <laughs> yep. And At probably most. they're normally $99, but if you get... Three or more, they go down to eighty bucks each or seventy five. I feel like two. They're not well made. No. Um, <laughs> no. 
She bought them at that tuck store that also sold live ammo. That one purple suit looks... What was that movie where Wesley Snipes played a gangster? I don't know. It reminds me of that movie. Did Someone's that movie come. happen? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I just asked if Samuel Jackson was the negotiator. Hey, Siri, what's the movie where Wesley Snipes plays a gangster? New Jack City. Oh! I think that's it. Maybe. I'm not sure. It might have not happened. <laughs> <laughs> it might have not Y'all, happened. Our our like <laughs> childhoods and pasts kind of feel like, did this happen? I just remember I had a very big crush on Wesley Snipes. Oh, well. So I kind of paid attention. White Man Can't uh, Jump was a oh, seminal movie in my that, sexual that awakening. That was a movie that happened. Oh, I remember that one. Oh, God. Those, like, skimpy tank tops <clears throat> he wore, and they would just lay on the front of his chest. Wow. Ugh. So even as a young boy, oh, yeah. you were... It was there. It was, yeah. It was there. Makes sense. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, you guys, uh, they are... The, uh, he Michael wants to take Angela to see some expats, um, and we remember these bitches, yeah, uh, and then Black Bart Simpson, who yeah. was mm-hmm. also there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who unfortunately we we did not see, we did not see, and that's a problem. These are from Nigerian <laughs> casting, and they had they had dual citizenship, and she's like, what dual what? dual. Oh. D- dual. Do what? You want a dual citizenship? And then he literally says he spent. <sighs> Michael's more educated in English than Angela. Yeah. He goes, do you a l dual? <laughs> he spelled it for. And he goes, ow, oh, dual. Okay, where's my Pepsi? <laughs> um. Anyway, so I also wrote down: Is there a different camera filter they're using for this segment? I noticed it looked weird on my. It was television. weird. Okay. Okay. I yeah. just. Yeah, I got a new TV, and I thought it looked my like old a Roy one, Lichtenstein okay, painting. Good. I thought something. it was my television. I was like, "What's happening?" Anyway, so she shows up. It, there's three women, y'all. So she's like, and as soon as that happens, I'm like, "Uh oh, this is not going to go well." I'm surprised she didn't slap them all on the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the RuPaul. Uh, shade. We really need to get shade, that shade, shade rattle. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, Angela, some of y'all know she is rocking her house of eleven glasses. Yes, those are those Darcy's are official. Glasses. They are official. Um, so, so she sits down. She looks at the women and she just says, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks. For Thank coming. y'all for coming. I'm out of here. I'm gonna shake your hand and then I'm gonna leave. And she does. Um, and she's like, no one's going to tell me. She's like, there ain't no guy. And she finally screams, shut up! Shut at him. Up! Michael's like, baby, <clears throat> baby, no, I don't know them. She's like, I am not stupid, Michael. Do you think I'm stupid? Uh, you know, and she says in the testimony, now why would he, he knows how I feel about them women on social media. Now why would he think that I would want him to be friends with three exes, Pats? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, this was not a good moment for Angelo. He wasn't, but then it yeah. all kind of comes to a halt. Ooh, she gets the phone call from Skyla, y'all. Yeah, Mama, Grandma's lost her mind. <laughs> Which at first I wasn't alarmed. No, I just thought that was natural. Grandma Hazel, y'all. Like I said, she <clears throat> was never the same after she got through by that tornado. Yeah, but she had some dementia later in life too. And was this after she took the chili can and beat up the woman who was having an affair with her husband? That was she was thrown by the tornado when she was in her early twenties. Okay, so this so, all happened. So that set her up on a new it course. It really of life. colored her whole life. That really is what made her mean, <laughs> Hazel Jean. She was mean. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone loves nursery Y'all, rhymes if about you. You want to know the full story about her? <clears throat> we still need to do a Southern Story episode, y'all. Yeah. We just don't have time because these episodes because are so Because they long. keep giving us four fucking uh, shows a week. And a million spinoffs. Um, you know, it- if you want Southern Stories, tell Matt Sharp to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much of one, though. Yeah. We still, we still going to pay nice my rent. Di- we owe him a nice dinner. Yeah. Um, so, but Skyla says that the, um, the uh, oxygen machine was unplugged. And like anyway, she and, and uh, Angela says, "Take her to the doctor." It's her now. worst fear that no one's taking care, y'all, because y'all forget 
Angela is in hospice care. Yeah. So she knows how to she take knows. care of her mother. Yeah. And y'all, they probably can't afford their own <laughs> hospice care. So. Yeah. <sighs> so this is, and she lights up a cigarette immediately. Immediately. And says, Let me out. I got to get out. So y'all, she's in crisis mode. Which I get it. I feel but sorry I will for say, her. Angela does treat him abusively and like an asshole. I agree. And Michael doesn't deserve that. I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for her. And she's like, are we ready to get married, Michael? Are we ready for one another? I just don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it's another existential moment for Angela. Um, I hope her mother doesn't die while she's oh, there. She'll never get over it. I mean, y'all, it's not a spoiler. She'll never get over her it. Her mother does pass away. Yeah. We don't know when. She passed away like six months ago. I don't we know. We don't know if they were filming you, or not. Y'all, everybody knows that should be a shock. She was on her last leg. I have to say... <clears throat> Angela needs to get her health together. I know. I worry about as her health too. As big as she is with smoking, yep. and as bad as she eats, and she has that kind of body type, y'all. She's got thin legs. It's but that yeah, carrying your big, weight around the middle yeah. is the most unhealthy for your heart. Yeah, she's a heart attack. I worry about her too. I do too. Um, we anyway, see people from home. I worry about her. I know. I worry about. <laughs> I worry about them. We say that all the time. Um. That's all for you. Want to move on to Asuelu? Boy, <laughs> it's time for me to come and talk to you. Well, I can barely talk because my voice is all gravelly. It's true. Kalani and Asuelu, but it's just Asuelu. And Papa Papa Kalani. Papa Lo. Otherwise known as Lo. Papa Lo says, You won't take a dog. dog walk, walk with me. Dog. And of course, he owns a pit bull because he's a fucking badass <laughs> cute dog. Um, and he said, Let's take go Fisher check. for a walk. I think, walk. I think it's their dog. Oh, it is. Yeah. Pretty dog. And so, anyway, they go <clears> and they go to the park. And Asuelo basically just kind of says. Like he knows that I don't ever walk the dog because Asuelo never does anything. Never does anything. So he's like, so like, he he wants to talk to me. Again, I would be where I would leave a leave, leave a note. notes around the house saying maybe, maybe say Papa goodbye to some me. people. Yeah. So, uh, Papa Lo stops on a bridge where he can't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and Asuelu starts out. He says basically, I want to. We need to talk about some things that are happening. And Asuelu says, yeah. Well, I want you to hear my side. Right. And this is not really a convincing side, though. I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> I will say Papa Lo was more <clears throat> patient. He was. Than I thought. Again, thank God they're being filmed. Yeah. It, think- it actually gives me, and this is, and I, would, I do want to talk about this. We talk about Papa Lo and how we appreciate what he's saying. The constant threats of violence kind of get on my, uh, that, Kind of freak me out a little bit. It's not good to do that. Yeah, it also makes Asuelu feel like he's constantly walking on eggshells and being watched and being kind of evaluated, which is only going to make it make that behavior worse. worse. Well, and we can kind of book in this. Basically, Asuelu explains just his side that they <clears throat> that they were talking Lisa in. said we're talking about women, a, differences of women. Yeah, and asked culture a lot of questions. Papa Lo gets he did. Asuelu says he didn't mean that. Kalani and Lisa were lazy, and Papa Lo said, "Oh, I understand. <clears throat> Coming from Samoan culture, I guess right. that is that women are lazy." And he gets the culture, but he's basically like, "Don't cuss at my daughter. I don't want the kids to see that. <clears throat> That's not going to happen anymore." And Asuelo kind of admits that he screwed up. Yeah, he's like, and, "No, you screwed it all." And up. I'm doing bad things. And Lo's like, "There's consequences. People could get hurt." <sighs> now. And he said, you need to apologize to Kalani. And Asuelu was like, I don't know how to do that. I think this is so interesting. He didn't even have the words, you guys. Because this, either in a, either in Samoan culture or maybe, maybe this is he's just. He's saying it's get lost in translation. That's what Asuelu yeah. said. And this is something I want to bring up, which you talked about. These threats of violence and things like that. And I, do I think Asuelu is a great guy? I don't know. Is he being a dick to Kalani? Yes. yes. However... Y'all, if we knew someone was on the spectrum and diagnosed with autism, we wouldn't expect for them to figure this out on their own. We would get them help yeah. to give them skills. We're not saying that's the case And I'm here. not saying he's on the spectrum, but I'm saying if it's a translation issue yeah. or if it's his inability to, inability. Speak, inability to speak to his emotions, we wouldn't say figure it out. 
we would have someone go to a therapist. We would try to give them tools. And that's a little thing I feel for Swaylu. It's like they're throwing him in the deep end and expecting him to swim in, I, in a way. I agree, but I don't think someone coming from that culture would ever go to therapy. I agree with that as well. Um, so I think you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't. Agree. What I don't think is helpful is that he's, I think he and Kalani, and I don't know how feasible this is, need to get out of her parents' house right now. Because it is not helpful for, <sighs> maybe it's helpful for Kalani to it's have help. It's helpful because they do something, but I don't think but he'll do anything. He's... Uh, that's he will he will always feel like he's being parented by them, but you know, and resent them at the same time. We do have a sissy who came for us. I I, I don't know if I told you this. So there's a there's prior allegations of Asuelu being physically violent with Kalani. Really? Yes, I forgot. I didn't tell you that. So one of our sissies, but and now she said, and she and I should say this too. Nothing was proven. <clears throat> yeah. These are only allegations. There's also allegations of Kalani saying some racially insensitive things, too. Jesus. So, y'all, this is why we try not to get involved in the gossip of the show. We would prefer to kind of see things how they are. But I the know only I reason would. I bring that up, if there's allegations of physicality, then I don't care what culture you're from. Yeah. You need to fucking get help and figure that shit out. Yeah. And or like, whether it's like law, it's, uh, it's still enforced this, by law or this whatever. This idea of I'm from a different culture and I don't understand. I don't fucking care. That doesn't give you a right to be physically and, violent with someone. And your kids and your kids need to be first. You're, you are living far, in the United States. Yeah. The way our culture works here is you get that shit worked out, or you go to jail. Yep. And I don't. I kind of feel like that's the black and white issue. If that's a um, problem. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't tell you that before. So let's. Thanks for you. dropping that hammer on me. <laughs> well, y'all, he doesn't recreate things well. I kind of have to give it to him <sighs> initially. Anyway, so I just find it interesting that he doesn't even know how to apologize. He's like, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to say something wrong. Or maybe it's like, I don't, maybe, maybe men in Samoan culture don't really spend a lot of time apologizing to women. Maybe <sighs> that has something to do with it. I think he kind of doesn't know. And I think, though, he doesn't want to know. I do yeah. think there is this, he's like, I don't. It's a little bit of that, but I think it's a, a lot of him to not wanting to take responsibility. Yeah, but I, he's a lazy person. I yeah, think. I feel like though, and they it, this is a tough situation because he is always y'all Asuelu, Now that he knows this, now that he knows Papa Lowe's eye is on him, as he said, he's gonna be walking on eggshells. He is. And so it's not gonna. You're right. It's, it's gonna not be, gonna get it's better. It's not gonna get better. And the only thing that's gonna happen is when they move out of their parents' house. I don't know if it needs. Maybe they can move in with someone else. But the fa but uh, Asuelu feeling like he's not quote the man of the house will never make him feel better. But even if he is the man of the house, he's not going to step up and do the child no, care stuff. No, he's not. I agree. And um, he's not going to make money for them to pay for child care, right? Because he's a loser, right? It's have it's, a fun life, Kalani. It's a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I just feel like with her father in the house. He's he's it's only he's going to resent it more. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Because he feels like he should be the man of the house. Yep. And that's something for culturally he'll never be able to get over. Nope. So, yeah, it doesn't look good for them, y'all. I'll be nope. honest. Mm-mm. Anyway, to more anyway. happier topics. And then wait. 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 Oh, Tania and Sinjin. Oh, I thought that was the show. <laughs> I forgot. About, I was about to close out. God, y'all, we're trying not to do these long episodes, but there's just <clears> so <throat> much in these. Um, not a lot really happened with him at all in that um, Sinjin's brother uh, they found out he was in the ICU with a blood clot his brother Dylan um, and he had a fall on his banged up his knee but the the blood clot randomly went to his lung and it was a near death experience basically so he's only 25 this, is more, this just happened to my mother she had a minor knee surgery <laughs> huh and uh, like she had minor knee surgery. It was healing. She had a trip scheduled to kind of like go to Boston two months afterwards. So when she was in Boston, she wore a tight knee brace to support her knee. Interesting. But what she didn't realize is that that was constricting a little bit of the blood. And then when she took off the knee brace, she was having this cough and thought she, they thought she had pneumonia. It ended up, she was in all this pain. She didn't have to go to ICU, thankfully. But they found she had a blood clot. Wow. And thank what happened, it went into her lungs. 
And basically, all it is is the the clock can decide to go left to right. Yeah. If it goes right, it's going to your heart and you're dead. If it's going to left, your body passes it and you can take blood clot medicine and you're fine. Wow. And that's basically sounds like what happened to him. But had it gone the other way, he would have died. Well, that's scary. I'm glad your mom's so, okay. Me too. If y'all have knee stuff, just know that their big arteries are in there. Yeah. And so it all gets connected. <clears throat> you're femoral. Which is my mother's, ironically, my worst, my mom's biggest fear is because her fiance had uh, elbow surgery and he ended up having a blood clot that went to his brain and he died right in front of my mother's face. Southern stories. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. She's still not over that. Y'all, you may have to drink to make it no. out of this, po- this podcast. Yeah, anyway. So Sinjin feels horrible, and he wants to go back home to see his brother. Yep. He talks about his grandma died when he was away, he and that was hard for him. Because the visa, to, couldn't go. So basically, he picks up Tania from physical therapy, and he tells her, this is really short. He tells her, y'all, her ankle's not healing well, bless no, her. No, it's a rough time. And he says, I would love to go flow, fly out, but I don't know how to... We're going to pay for that. Yeah. I want to say, too, when he talks to her about what's happening, she responds, God, I can't believe I'm saying this, in exactly the most the, the most helpful way. I'm so sorry. That must be hard for you. Yeah. Oh, I hate this show for, you know, making, me, for making me think Tania is handling this well. Tania's not an idiot, and she realizes she got a bad edit. She got edit, a shitty edit last she season, is and everyone hated her. She Don't get me wrong. She is still <laughs> self-involved as fuck. Yeah. But she realizes, She's oh, probably pretty awful when the camera's still on. It's reality TV. <laughs> you can't, I can't be myself, because myself is a horrible person. Ooh. So I'm going to say- Ooh. I get it. If it was my mother and sister, family is family. He should go be with his brother. And I really feel like Tania, y'all, she does want good for people, but she's just exhausting. She's exhausting in the way that the the most irritating type of person in the world, that, that to me, yeah. she's that person. Um, but she, you're right. You're exactly right. She does not. I think Linda said that, you know, on the melanated way. Yeah. Girl, she got a bad that edit. Is she, Linda did, from the- she does not want yes. another bad yes. edit. So yeah. she's like an angel this season. It is. I hate it too. She's making me, she's making me furious. <laughs> Although I feel like just wait for it. Cause Sinjin's going to go to South Africa. Oh, she's going to show her He's ass. He's going to get, and if she oh, doesn't go with to. him, cause he said he invited her to go, y'all. He doesn't want her to go. No. And she's not going to go, I bet. With uh, everything's going on and with her foot, knee, or ankle healing. I think healing, she might. I don't, I don't know. I think, regardless, he's going to get... a free trip to South Africa? She got paid for that. Oh, really? Yes. The production team paid no, for that? No, they're not paying for that. <laughs> Tia. What is their overhead? Yeah. They're going to. Sharp, tell us what your overhead is. I'm telling you, <laughs> whether she goes or not, he's going to get drunk in South Africa. Oh, ripped. And she's going to get pissed. Yeah. And it'll be good. Uh, anyway, but. Uh, so she even does say, it really bothered me that whole. He says, that whole pick up and leave thing, I can understand why you were mad. So they're both having good dialogue, y'all. Yeah. This is heads above Kalani and Asuelu. Heads. Because these people actually have kind of spe- talk about how they're feeling. Yeah. Um, heads above Karini and Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I can't. <laughs> so she, he's going to go to Cape Town. She may or may not go with him. That's it's, this episode. That's I aged four years <laughs> when I watched this. Oh, God. Y'all, I feel like this was a shorter episode. Pray, pray for an ending. Know. Pray for a quick ending to happily never after. I'm just, uh, or just one hour. I just wish we get a little hour. less plot heavy. Yeah, it's so much. Y'all, so we don't want to do two hour shows about this, but we can't do shitty yeah. shows for you. We would do other free shows, but we don't have time. <laughs> this show's too long. That's it. We, That's it. We, um, tomorrow we'll we'll be do doing our other way. We'll do the other way and smothered. Uh, we'll drop and smothered. On yes, y'all. You can go to ninetydaygays.com to get all the information on us. Uh, you can see our merch there. Our they're going to email us all now, but I think our all of our merch is going to go on sale for thirty five percent. And we're working on doing a. This is, I'll be putting out the poodle collection of a certain pillows. Poodle's going to be doing home pillows. I'll be designing pillows. I'm like Craig from Southern Charm all of a sudden. But not hot. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, y'all think that, that I'm the main one? Remember this. You know what? I just have a better response to it than he does. <laughs> I'm going to pay for that one. Y'all. <laughs> I don't listen. I don't need anybody to defend me. You have to admit, you're not ugly, but Craig is fucking gorgeous. He's hot. He's oh, I, gorgeous. I, I, I'll admit that. So I feel like it's like if you were in the room with like a Hemsworth, and I was like, yeah, but he's hot. It's you know still what? doesn't don't really come at us. Come at us on cameo. Make me feel better. <laughs> Jake said, "Jake it or fake it." I'm at the Matt Mar two T's two R's. Um, and I, I think what, is that anything else? We're going to do our sissy shout outs and our sissy spotlight, spotlight. Tomorrow, tomorrow for After the Other Way because that show's only an hour. So we have time to do this we shit. We have time. Otherwise, you'd fall asleep listening to this fucking we, we garbage. We've been fucked by the football team. We're exhausted. Oh, I just want to turn over and go. <laughs> sleep like Angelo. Dick, dick, dick. Dick, dick, dick. dick. <laughs> Y'all, we call these people lonely hearts because, Poodle, aren't we all just lonely hearts looking for love? Yes. And if you awkwardly eat fries with your fork and close your eyes like you've just had an orgasm, call us. <laughs>